by Deacon Bernard Solomon. Amen. On Christ, the stock solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Most holy and righteous, magnificent God, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you are our God as well. Lord, we come to you this evening with bowed heads and humble hearts. Lord, we just can't move on without acknowledging how magnificent you are. You watched over our forefathers way back in the 1800s down through the years and in this very present moment. Lord, we just have to acknowledge the fact that we can't do nothing without you. But for your grace and mercy, we've come all this way. Lord, we just give you the glory, honor, and praise for not only for who you are, but what you have done and what you will do. Your grace and mercy has brought us to this point, and we thank you. Lord, we thank you for the vision that Reverend T.T. T. Ward had way back in those years, 1912 paying off the first mortgage to become debt free all the way to 2019. We're right back at this moment. Lord, you're good. You're better than good. And we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all of those who had the vision to initiate this great church. There are many things that happened along the way, and you were there with us through all of those things. You said in your words, you'll never leave us nor forsake us. And you've proven that time and time again. We thank you. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for your presence right here, right now. We thank you for giving us a mind to want to call upon your holy name. Lord, we are about to acknowledge you in a formal way, but we know that no nothing we can do or say is good enough to give you what you deserve. But we're going to just try to our, our best this evening to lift you up, glorify you, thank you, magnify you, worship you, praise you. We just want to give you our all. And Lord, we continue to strive to be the church that you would have us to be. Help us to reflect on our sins and try to turn away from those things that we should not do. Move us, Lord, to do those things that we should do. Give us a, a mind that's aligned with yours. Help us to continue to spread the good news. And Lord, when all is said and done, when we've done all that we can do, 
We ask that you would receive us in your kingdom. Well, that'll be the time when we know that every day will be like Sunday. Sabbath will have no end. We'll stick our swords into the sand of time. Study war no more. No more sickness. No more pain. We thank you. We praise you. We love you. We lift you up. We glorify you. It's in the precious, powerful name of your son, Jesus. We pray. Amen.